Hello World programs show us how to communicate with the outside world from within inside our programs. Let's look at this in more detail. In the Hello World video, we wrote our first program called, well, Hello World. We did this with a single line command from three different command line interfaces. This method of running commands at the command line is said to be interactive because we are interacting with code and data directly. Now we will show how to save the command to a file, which enables us to do two important things. Number one, it allows us to save our programs so we can run them at a later time. And number two, it allows us to group our code into files that gives us the ability to create distinct programs. Saving our programs in files is how we begin to build more sophisticated programs. Once our code is saved, we will interact with the program opposed to the code and data directly. And this will make log messages like hello world necessary for us to know what our programs are doing. Let's start with PowerShell. To begin, open Notepad. Once Notepad is open, we want to type the command. So let's type write host hello world with the semicolon. Now that we have the command written, we want to save this. Now there's something special that we have to do to save this file. Let's go through the steps. We're going to go to file, save as. We'll give this file a name, hello world. And this is the part that's special. We need to save this file as .ps1. PlayStation. No, PowerShell, not PlayStation. Anyway, this indicates that the file is a program that PowerShell can run. So we'll click save and we have our program. To run the program, we go into PowerShell and all we have to do is tell PowerShell where is the program that we want to run. I'm in my user directory, which is Deep Lizard, and we save the PowerShell program to the desktop. So to point to the program, we just type desktop slash hello world.ps1. And I click tab to autocomplete. So we have desktop slash hello world.ps1. Now to run the program, we just press enter. And there we have it, the hello world text was written to the console. This is very similar to what we saw before, only this time we're not interacting with the code and data directly, but we are interacting with the program. So if our program was doing something else more sophisticated, we would probably want the program to tell us some things about where it is in terms of its execution. Programs execute line by line. When the program runs, it would start going through each line of the code and we would have no way of knowing where it was in its execution without some messages written out to the console. Let's see how this is done in JavaScript now. I have a new notepad open, so let's just type the code, console.log, hello world. Now we're ready to save. And this time we need to save the file with the extension HTML. And that's because JavaScript runs in the browser and we need an HTML file for the browser to run. So we saved the file. Now we're not quite ready to run it. There's one more step that we have to do for JavaScript. And that step is to tell the browser that this is JavaScript code. We do that by wrapping this piece of code inside of script tags. Let me show you what I mean. When the browser sees these two script tags, it will know to run the code between them. Well, see, that makes sense. So let's save the file and run it. So the web page has launched, but we don't see anything. In order to see our message, we need to look at the console. So let's open the developer tools. Now that we have the developer tools open, we can see the message, hello world was written to the console. To show you that it was indeed written in real time, we'll clear the console and then we'll refresh the page. And there you go, the message was written. Every time we refresh a web page, any scripts that are there rerun. And so that's why our program just ran at that time when we refreshed. All right, let's knock this out now on a Linux machine. I've opened a text file and I've already saved the file with the extension .sh. You can see that right here on the desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and type the command, echo hello world. Okay, we'll save, close, and now we're ready to run. Now, just like in PowerShell, we're going to need to specify the desktop so we can point to the script. And there's an extra step that we need to do. We need to type sh so 
we type sh and then we type desktop and then we type hello world dot sh and I use my tab auto completion to make it speedy. All right, click enter and we see the text hello world and that's it. That's how we save and run programs. This is an amazing capability. Hit the comments if you have any questions And be sure to check out the other videos in the series if you haven't already. Goodbye.